We work on the materials and we were set up in previous videos. So right now let's look, come a little bit closer maybe, click preview. So we have it kind of view of our golf course from different areas. Um, one thing, let's, you know what, let's go ahead and add a water layer to this. Uh, let's zoom in and I'll just bring this a little bit up. So we have it kind of more interesting water surround our area. You know what, let's bring a little bit up, maybe around that area here. I think that will look um, maybe maybe not we'll see on the water the problem is we start having um, form so reduce form we can or drop this down so it will create a bit more bluish coloring but I don't necessarily like because now we have an edge well let's go bring ground back and start going inside the water okay C level and we'll just go to edit object so we'll have it use a global control and we'll just reduce make it so very calm water we're fine with this one and we open material editor for our water and notice we have it our form so and actually you know what I want to reduce amount of the form for this and we'll go to default water. Let's go to the transparency and just from 70 meters drop to maybe about three meters. So it should give it nice coloring, blue coloring on us. There you go. So it's water look a little bit more interesting. Again, it's water is not a point. I just want to isolate as an island. You know what, maybe even bring down now a little bit more. So 2.8 meters. Look at that probably will work we can work with or without water it just as example okay because on this area I can bring up look down maybe around this area and I'm not sure if I like it as island but just in case if you need to create golf island for some game or other things here we have one of them okay let's go to take our main camera and I want just to copy and paste so we'll just have a main camera save one of location we'll take second one and we'll bring this inside the golf course let's bring it lower and positioning Kind of preview almost from the point of the golfer like around there there you go I think from this angle again this is we kind of more close towards golf we do have a problem the golf is very very smooth surface so we want to work maybe with the grass a little bit more. Um, we also could go inside the terrain. And when we work with the, our grass and grass patches, which is all of this area, we can go inside the grass example, bump map, and we can increase bump map. So let's look first on what we have in our function. If we open, okay, we have right here bumps. That's what I want to do. And as bumps, we have it very simple fractal. So that should be fine. We could pop up a little bit on a roughness. Okay, let's pop up a little bit up on a roughness. And we can go ahead and maybe set bump depth to one. So that way will be a little bit. And let's reduce scale to zero one. 0, 1, 0, 1. So we'll just reduce scale on the bumps. That will add a little bit more roughness to our grass kind of look. This is one way to do it. 
Um, we can also just copy that function, go inside grass patches on the bump map. Let's go to procedural and paste. So we'll just paste the same function to both of them. Let's go select one and dot one. You can type zero one or dot one will be the same thing. So we can do it that way. Just so the roughness little bit match on this. Okay, let's go click OK and let's render close up so we can see patches. But from what I see, it, it's I think it's maybe a little bit um, too rough from preview so we can look on some of those elements. Okay, so as it render, you can see we have it roughness add to these areas. Okay, where is the main area? They still smooth and flat around this because our blending on a um, work on our bump maps. Same as a sand, we don't necessarily have that one. With the sand, we can add dune type of the bump map to this as well. But I think this is maybe a little bit too strong. Um, and also, I think that still be a little bit too much. So we can go over all this scale and reduce to zero one on that scale. Same. So it will reduce. Okay, zero one dot one. Okay, it's what way. There you go. Okay, so we'll just reduce just a little bit, make it sand look, grass look a little bit more as a grass, just a little bit noise add to this. Um, right texture do make a huge effect because I have some other texture we're using as a grass looking. Um, take photos from a collection. I think it's a geek at play like material collection something. So and that one I like because it will look exactly like grass. So you know what? Let me go ahead and find and maybe we can use it so I can show you as example on that one. Okay, so I found here's my older library. And I think it will be in the grasses ground covering. And uh, yeah, it will be around, I think, somewhere around here. We have it our straw, we don't need it. So this full ground work and the grass. I'm just trying to find where is my grass here was this one. Okay, so let's go select the grass field. I replace alpha on this one. Okay, we'll go with a bump map need to modify slightly so we don't want it um, as a strong bump maps for this. So we'll go with 0 0.01 depth on this. We don't need it the strong. Okay, it is set 0 02. Let's go with the world standard for this one set. Okay, and we'll go set to 1. Click OK. I'll take my main camera. And actually what I want to do on my main camera, I want to look down on the ground. So right around here. Okay, like maybe around. Let's go ahead and render. I just want to be sure that my grasses look properly because in preview sometimes it's hard to see it. And I see the tiling happen, which is okay. We can work with tiling. But it should provide actually a very good, more as a grass looking type. Yeah, it's look way better. Okay, let's go stop it in this case. Okay, render. We'll go back to terrain. We'll go edit. And on this grass field, you remember we have it our tiling and it's um, just so we'll go on a bump map right here. We'll go increase maybe towards 10 on this one. And in effects, we want actually just to slightly modify. So we want to click rotation. 
it will take a take each and will rotate slightly so it reduces some of the styling actually you know maybe not 10 maybe let's go with a six i won't see i'm previewing right here and i think this is actually six work okay you know or maybe even go down to five okay our turbulence will work okay and alpha boost uh, when you want actually zero to put it on that so we'll have a little bit more coloring coming through there you go that's look probably what i want to do and again this is just example of how the uh, correct texture can affect look make it much more realistic look in this case okay let's go ahead and click render okay it's take a second for them to come up but you can see how it's already applied we do have some repetition i still see it coming so let's fix a little bit on that repetition and we can do add a little bit turbulence to this okay let's see when turbulence yeah i don't necessarily like turbulence on that one so rotation we'll just add a little bit so what's happening with rotation it's take tiles and kind of rotate but you can see it does affect a little bit because parametric does affect a little bit below so i don't know if it's we'll probably just need work with a scaling okay let's go ahead click ok take my main camera bring back to where i was before right around here and look up there you go so we'll see right now you can see how much will different will be when you start using a little bit better texture but of course the other texture will come up with the other grass so we want to maybe replace some of this from coloring to different grass as well okay so right here it's not rendering and we can see repetition we don't see because it's an angle of and of course we can add alpha blending but now it's get a little bit nicer so it does not it still be a little bit yellowish i think we can switch to the greenish color but it does provide a little bit better more interesting look on the ground more natural kind of looking um area of course the grass if it's grass will be like this on golf course you don't want to play on that golf course you want of course green green grass but again that is was more as a showing example of different so let's go back to our grass now and we can also just look and replace this with different so and i have it all these different golf cries actually right here so i already have it one golf cry um grass already created so we can also just reuse that one and you can see it nicely fixed okay we we'll also have the greens yeah and this is a image created so we already have the golf grass already pre-made for me okay we'll also have the bump map let me verify depth maybe 0 0.3 we don't need it too much depth on this and it's all object standard well standard object standard so let's switch i think that is a right and a bump grass i think this is need to be 0 0.09 it was a little bit bumps was a little bit too small but it should cover uh, maybe not maybe it was right bumps okay size okay there you go so overall it is materials and uh, if you're interested in all those materials available for you to um, use in other areas okay i think this grass i'm just still concerned a little bit about this image and a bump map so on the colors and maybe let's reduce just slightly alpha because i want a little bit more greenish coming through so i want a little bit coloring the produce bump grass so we'll have it grass below greenish there you go a little bit more green coming out 
let's go a little bit more down okay all right here i think yep now it's look way nicer okay there you go but overall you can use the right textures and um in many cases i just go and take photos of the grass and you can use those photos as your texture primarily and they will look very nice very accurate in this case okay i think we're good i don't know about this grass patch for now we can leave it as default but this is two it's what we replace it with our two main ones okay and alpha okay let's pop up this alpha a little bit up that is i think what's wrong was with us some coloring so yeah a little bit more greenish a little bit more golf alike looking okay let's go ahead click ok let's save it and now we can add a little bit more work on atmosphere for us so we'll go take main camera position a little bit up here let's go to open atmosphere editor and by default we set in a photometric spectral mode so we want to adjust a few things here one I want to take aerial perspective and increase just slightly so it will add a little bit more haze on the background just depth to our atmosphere will add a little bit more okay as well on quality boost let's set to the zero at least okay maybe a little bit even more um i don't worry too much about glow intensity in this case but i will bring just a little bit fog and a little bit haze so it will add kind of decay elements right and back so just give it small haze to create this distance look okay our decay is fine the clouds we could add um make more interesting so let's go ahead and open and we'll just create a thick camels clouds just bring them in we'll leave them there and let's add another clouds and for this one i'm going to stratus and we'll just select stratus so it's very nice when you mix clouds it look kind of nicer this way and we'll just won't do too much work just add a few clouds so they look nicer okay i think with lights we set all correct here so we don't want to mess too much with this stuff or it's become too addictive to do that stuff okay however on a sunlight what i want to do it is um right click edit shadows and we'll go to put it 98 percent on the darkness so it just will make a little bit softer just small pitch in the darker area a little bit softer also our sunlight let's bring uh, just small down i want to have this little bit warmer color okay and i think this is about right position for the sun we could move a little bit towards camera to drop shadows create a little bit darker look kind of a little bit more play with the lighting and you can see kind of glowing almost areas where the sun going so we can do a little bit that way okay let's take our main camera and maybe you know even move a little bit out and slightly up now let's let's put the two cameras we have it so we'll take this camera and we'll return back we'll put it back on our golf course maybe even bring you know, slightly above here with our greens going and send so we'll just set one camera here and remember we create second camera copy and that one will just go over our preview over all our golf course maybe run here okay let's go save it and i'm going to render right now and i'm going to set render a little bit higher so i'm going hd resolution list set to render this may take a little bit time to render and mostly because we add atmosphere clouds so you know what let me for this one 
I'll just disable them for the render from above because that will be a little bit faster to render. So I'm going to render this and I'm pausing tutorial still render is going so we after it's completed I will resume um, our video. Okay so right here's so our render is finished. Um, my main focus was to create this area and showing you how to work with creating shape, distribution materials and I think it's come out very good. Of course the edges it is need work more. Um, maybe just add rocks if you want to the edge and the flow some if you want to create as an island and I may be going to just add this just to be sure we have a nice look and as the grass going around I think right here also look on the coloring um, in some cases maybe just make it a little bit darker so let's go ahead and sorry kind of touching up a little bit more and more on this so we're going to our echo grass this area will go to a uh, presence and we'll go into altitude adjustments so what I want to do is just remove some from edges we'll go from bottom and moves the problem is sometimes you have a hard time to know where it's going for this we will going to use highlighter and you can notice when we in set our highlighter we can preview some areas where this um, grass will going so let's go just bring maybe about right here also you can always just use it populate if you need it to preview where um, grass will going okay let's go take seconds right here okay and when update you can see with our grass going population this is maybe you not know, just bring a little bit up more and a little bit blurring at the bottom okay so just to ride this edge a little bit more kind of um, again if you look on this we have our set object parametric but it also altitude range so if we remember this we can put it rocks just outside on this below this altitude so it's will kind of going around this area um, okay I think this is grass is about right let's disable it and uh, next we'll go create a new layer okay we'll go to rock skull okay and we'll convert to ecosystem so here's our challenge with the rocks we could also go in and set altitude variation and we can set of course to um, different coloring and we can set hey you know what I want to have this maybe around here so in this case we could specify by altitude but other things also if you remember our plants and trees is around this area so we could go back to the density let's edit function and we kind of already should be familiar with creating project uh, projected texture so we'll go import we'll take our plants the reason why we take plants because it's remember it's take a shape of our terrain it's where we want this with edge okay we'll go switch this to object parametric of course so now we know it is map around here um, we'll go back uh, let me check one thing we need to connect it of course to the density or it won't work okay and next we're going to go inside and we can add items let's go add rock and this is um maybe beige rock okay it's take a little bit time for the first time to add it we can add another rock and we can add just different variation of the rocks just for fun okay now we have those rocks as set we want to um, populate with the density in specific areas remember because our presence we set low 
and you know what let's just leave it fuzzy on the top that is should populate it just around this below areas okay maybe it's a little bit too low let's go bring altitude a little bit higher preview and it should actually going around area right here we still have a zero instance okay let's go to bring even up a little bit more We go we have it 81 instance so we kind of start bringing in we can also take density you know and just pop up way high the idea is create this rocks layers like right around this area okay i think our size may be a little bit too small so let's pop up scaling size and i see them right on edge so we almost needed bring the rocks down below because the edge and does not cut it so in this case let's go look on our density and i don't think this map maybe even work very well for us let's go to edit because i think it's may cutting right around there so we can always go back to our photoshop okay and here's our greens there you go plants there you go this is what i need, I need plants and i want to actually add a little bit on the edge we could always go back and actually create a very fast map so let's do this we'll go create new layer we'll want 100 percent opacity and i'm just taking oops i need my brush to be soft edges and I just want to go paint around edges okay my flow let's set flow to 100% as well I think so we have it a little bit more okay right there uh, let's remove plant so I can see precisely where I'm putting don't worry if it's go over a little bit it's fine like right there maybe rocks and you can have actually fun with the, how you're placing the rocks okay next i want also filter blur let it just a little bit not too much but just leave it blur click ok and i want save this mask right here it's a car cut so we'll go to switch black brush and i just want a little bit edge there you go okay let's go to file save we'll say the stff rocks disable layers go we'll save it and we save them here let's go back to our vu application and we'll preload it let's replace this map with a new that we just created called rocks okay and if we're going to let's disable our coloring we'll click on populate now should actually have it there you go that's look a little bit better of course they're incredibly large so we can see but it will create this rocky element so let's go ahead scaling take our scaling way down populate one more time to preview and you can kind of see there you go look a little bit better i think around here we'll go to presence again let's just increase fuzziness on top and reduce slightly so because i don't want necessarily rocks in the plants but i want nice smooth edge going around here and you can see we have it nicer population there you go i think this way kind of create more interesting side on our rocks 
with the grass going. Yeah, I think that is look a little bit more interesting. Okay, also on our grass where we're using for image, let's go to um, edit color. I'll just make it darker. It's kind of a bit such a green, a little bit pale. But again, we can play a little bit more about this. Maybe it's too dark. Okay. Then go. Let's adjust this a little bit. Okay. I th yeah, I think now it's look way better. Okay. Let's go ahead. I think this is good. Let's click OK. Save it. Our work, our main camera. Uh, we can just position maybe even like this on the side here. Save it and let's render one more time again on high, de uh, high resolution so we can preview our image how it will look. Here is our images render and you can see we have a nice rock wall we set up around our area which is I think make a little bit nicer look as we're going the island of the golfing. Um, I don't know how people will get there, swim on a break, whatever, or flying, it's, it's their own problems will be. Uh, but overall it is we add a little bit of rocks and I think it does create kind of nicer look. As well, our grass look more interesting in some areas, including patches and grass around plants and avoiding in a sand area. I think overall here we'll just look on the techniques. Of course, we not focus directly on the lighting. We just very fast touch up. But our focus was primarily it is how to set up the golf course for um, the rendering when we need it. Okay, so this is one image. I'm going to save this. And as usual, when I save, I save as HDR as well, because high dynamic range would does a very good job with this. And I can increase some details and shadow and highlights, bring this image a bit more to the punch area. Okay, and let's go also maybe render one from the lower point so we, we can see with the clouds enable. That will also take some time. So it will wait on this on rendering on that one as well. We'll be on a pause and resuming after it's completed. Okay, so let's do this. We'll switch our main camera to what we have before. Um, and we can also re-enable back our clouds. Um, I know right here, let's click them again, bring them up from visible and render. And if they are a little bit too thick, we can work on them. But Hase, I just want them leave it as default for now. Then go through this point. Let's go ahead, click render. And this is will take a little bit time to render. So I'm going to pause again this video and come back when render is completed. Sorry, here our render is completed. And it took about 35 minutes, so it took a little bit time in the majority because our cloud atmospheres, all that settings. Uh, let's look on the grass. You can see we have a little bit noise again. Maybe just a little bit reduce those patching because I think this is a little bit too noisy. But uh, sand overall, our smooth grass on the tops is work. Overall, in this tutorial, so what was was looking at, it's creating the. Um, okay, let me close this one window. Okay, it is to create the island based on the shapes we want to do it. Create a patch of specific uh, texture and areas. For example, those greens with a flat uh, sand area elevation. Add where area a little bit more rougher grass. Also, use an area to place our plants, trees in this case also work with the affinity uh, ecosystem, how it's work with the layer below. So it's our grass and just for fun, we did this border with the rocks. So overall, here's our tutorials, how to do um, golf course shape from the simple file that we created inside the Photoshop. Thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, 
please be sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel, Geek at Play Studio. Even you want to receive a new video release it as well. Your support at a Patreon for Geek at Play is greatly appreciated. Thank you again for all your help and support.